Hello everyone, Charles Watts here, the Arsenal correspondent at Goal, joining you from my car, which can only mean one thing, I am at London Colney, the home of Arsenal's training centre for Mikel Arteta's press conference, which is starting in about half an hour's time. Last time I was here, it was before the Tottenham game, Thing was looking, things were looking very, very sweet, just one win at that Tottenham game could have done it, but two back-to-back -back defeats Tottenham and Newcastle now leave Arsenal basically relying on a bit of a miracle this weekend if they want to get themselves Champions League football so the mood up there I imagine is going to be very very different when Mikel Arteta walks in he's going to have to answer some pretty difficult questions I imagine about what's gone wrong you know how much blame does he take how much blame does the players take whatever but um yeah I think it's going to be a fairly different press conference to what we've but seen the last couple of times that we have been here. Um, yeah, real shame in it. What's, what's gone on? Obviously, I've talked about that at length in my videos this week. It's just been a very difficult week, I think, for Arsenal. A lot of reflecting, a lot of trying to work out exactly why they haven't managed to take this opportunity that they had within their own hands. Look, you never know. Norwich might do Arsenal a favour on at a weekend. Highly doubt it, but stranger things have happened. It is football and all that. So I uh, will probably have to try and be pretty stay pretty optimistic up there in a way and tr just in case but uh i think deep down he'll know that his best chance of gone wait for some injury news who's going to play at defense that's going to be interesting this weekend gabriel and um ben white both missed training this week tommy asu did as well whether they are back or don't know maybe we'll find out from mikel rob holding obviously does return from suspension so he will be available it'll be interesting to see exactly what defenders are available to arsenal this weekend i'm sure we'll get some sort of team news update from arteta up here and also a few uh possible transfer related questions i imagine uh marquinhos the brazilian player i understand is here who's in this very training center arrived late yesterday flew into england to complete his move to arsenal that's gonna be about three million pounds for the young weir we'll see if Mikel says anything about him um and i'm sure there'll be some other topics of conversation so as usual i will pop on afterwards and record a little bit video going over what Mikel had to say so stay tuned for that <laughs> Right, so that's Mikel Arteta's press conference finished. His last press conference of the season here at London Colney. Some interesting points from him. Interesting enough, he started with a bit of a bit of a statement, really. You don't often get that at press conferences. It just normally launches in to the first question. But this time, Mikel, um, with Mark Ganella, who's the head of communications here at Arsenal, he sort of handed over to Mikel at the start of press conference. And he sort of went into a bit of a, a statement that went on a couple of minutes really talking about the season and, and stuff and I'll read you a little bit of it here uh, not all of it because it will take too long and you'll get pretty bored I imagine but you'll be able to find it I'm sure I think Arsenal might have even clipped it up and put it on social media already but he said we are back in Europe we don't know where Sunday it will be decided hopefully it will be Champions League because on Sunday I believe we'll do what we have to do and we're going to be cheering for Norwich to do what they need to do for sure after that we're going to take the club to the next level that's the ambition we have a very clear plan again how we want to do it and execute it it's no secret we need resources and we need to increase increase the quality and the depth of the squad while maintaining who we are as a club and the people that we have next to us that's going to be the challenge in the following season he continued it on for a little bit more after that before taking questions it's interesting that he came down maybe he felt like he needed to after what has gone on in the last week he wanted to sort of address what's gone on during the last week with the back-to-back -back defeats and sort of highlight the positives of what he clearly feels is, there's been plenty of them this season but he does also it's clear to see and what he had to say there freely admit that there's a long way to go and he acknowledges that he acknowledged that in the press conference that followed as well when he was asked questions after question after question really after about the the way things have gone against Tottenham and Newcastle how he now views things how the fans all view things and um, you know, again, he reiterated the fact that he knows that Arsenal are nowhere near where they need to be yet. He said that he said it was clear and obvious that we're not anywhere near where we, we want to be. Um, 
and he looked ahead to the summer. He said there are going to be resources. He said they're, they're going to be, um, what was the word? I think he said limited. No, he said they're not unlimited resources, but they will have resources available in the summer, um, which I think, you know, that's pretty clear. I don't think any of us expected it was going to be unlimited resources available for Mikel Arteta this summer. And Arsenal are going to have to sort of work around a few things. They still managed to spend a lot of money last summer. He talked about the wages um, at Arsenal as well that have, that have come down recently. He's called, he said it's night and day the difference in the wages at Arsenal to what it was a couple of years ago. And, you know, so that's all going to help when it comes to bringing new players in this summer. Um, he was asked about Makinos, obviously the Brazilian, young Brazilian attacker. He wouldn't wouldn't go there. Um, just flat out refused to comment on it, as he always does. He sort of pointed to Mark, he, as I said, the head of comms who was sitting next to him, said when, when there's something to be announced, he will announce it. And not me, but as I reported earlier, he's uh, Marquinhos was here yesterday at London Colney. He's arrived to put the finishing touches on his deal. So that one will be done. Didn't really talk about team news, to be honest. No one asked him anything about it because, uh, you know, pretty much everything during the presser was all focused on what's gone on during the last week and what potentially could happen this summer and how he views a, a fifth place finish. I asked him if, um, if he regretted, if he now looks back on what happened in January and you know, does he accept that maybe he got things wrong in January? He wasn't really in any sort of mood to answer that. He just basically said no and then didn't expand on it. I then asked, did that, did what you sort of didn't do in January, is that going to help this summer in terms of potential um, summer spending? And he sort of launched into a bit of a spiel about exactly why they have to live within resources and everything like that. Like, I think it's pretty clear. He must know. He's not, he's not stupid he must know that Arsenal what the, the business they did or the lack of business they did in January certainly didn't help them in this push for the for the top four but it was refusing to give up all hope which didn't surprise me I thought that's probably how he's going to approach it this um in this press conference he was clearly very very despondent after the Newcastle game in the sort of press conference he gave there but now he's had a few days to think about it he's trying to take the positives he says that they'll cheer for Norwich he says he believes that Norwich can can get an upset. It upset is the Premier League. He said that stranger things have happened, and his team of uh, are going to have to be ready. And he was very very keen to point out the kind of strides that this young side has taken as well. So not overly despondent. Certainly was in a lot more buoyant mood than he was after the Newcastle game, which, uh, as I said, is no real surprise. So looking ahead to the. Uh, game on Sunday. A lot is going to depend on exactly what defenders are fit and available. Rob Holden will be back. That'll be a boost and it all kind of depends on if Gabriel and Ben White trained or not and Tommy Astor. If not, you're expecting Mike Granit Xhaka might have to drop in at centre-back and cover if both Gabriel and Ben White are out because they're both absolutely clearly not fit for that game against Newcastle. And Tommy Astor, you'd presume, is definitely going to be out. So Cedric will be in at right-back. Tavares left-back, potentially Granit Xhaka and Rob Holden at centre-back. So that's not the ideal back four is it in it for a Premier League game but at least Everton have guaranteed themselves survival so they've got nothing to play for this weekend whether that might make them a little bit more dangerous who knows because they've actually got a bit of freedom to play with now rather than this the sort of threat of relegation hanging over them and if Granite does drop in then maybe we'll see Sammy Laconga someone like that come in to midfield and then we'll see if any of the forwards are fit and available I think it's a safe bet that Martinelli will start I can't imagine Smith Rowe is going to be anywhere near starting given how unfit he was against Newcastle and he limped off in that game as well. I'll try and pop on over the weekend. I'll try and get something potentially done tomorrow. Um, looking more ahead to that Everton game, doing predicted 11, that sort of thing. So do look out for that one. If I don't manage to do it, apologies, but I'll be at the game on Sunday doing my usual pre-match stuff. So definitely keep an eye out for that one. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. That's me done here at London Colney. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.